Hi everyone, it's Lucy and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be debunking some weight loss myths. Now you wouldn't believe the number of false information concerning nutrition that is circulating online. A lot of these things are actually seen as true by so many people. In reality, these myths have just been repeated so many times that people actually believe them to be true. So today I'm going to show you that they are not. The first myth is that carbs make you gain weight. Carbs are seen as the devil by so many people and low carb diets are on the rise. And for this reason, people think that they must absolutely cut out carbs in order to lose weight. In reality, the right carbs are actually healthy, you, you really need them for your body to function properly and they do not make you gain weight. If you want to know more about carbs, the good carbs, the bad carbs, and the health benefits of carbs, then don't forget to check out my video that I made about that. I will put it right here and also in the description. The second myth is that a detox is a great way to start over fresh. Many of us see a detox as a way to completely reset our body, to start fresh, and to just override all of the past indulgements. And also, if you do like juice cleanse, there's so many detox teas and cleanses and everything like that, they also claim to make you lose weight. Technically, the numbers on the scale could decrease, but you would mainly be losing water weight, not fat. And also, you might end up actually gaining even more weight once the diet ends, once the detox diet ends, because you'll probably be binging and overeating from all of that restriction that you impose on yourself with the detox diet. A detox diet is just another crash diet and it does more harm than good. Again, if you want more information about that, I made a video about that as well that you can check out right here or in the description. The third common myth is that you should never eat past 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. or everybody has a different time. It's commonly believed that eating past a certain time will automatically cause your body to store fat. In reality, your metabolism doesn't slow down that much at night. But I know so many people that would rather go to bed starving than have a late night snack. Studies show that having a small healthy snack around 150 calories at night does not harm you in any way. And it may even be beneficial. Studies in children also showed that those who had dinner after 8 p.m. do not gain more weight than others. However, it's a good idea to stop eating around three hours before you go to bed. If you wait more than that, then you're probably going to be hungry and want to have a pretty unhealthy processed snack. I mean, if it's a healthy snack, it's great. But usually, you know, you reach for the cookies in front of the movie. You don't really reach for the celery sticks. And if you don't wait long enough, then you're probably going to have an uncomfortable digestion. For some adults now, studies did show that eating later in the evening was associated with weight gain, but actually it was also because they were having higher calorie meals. So bottom line, you should have a balanced dinner whenever it works for you. If that's 6 p.m., then great. Just make sure that you don't eat some unhealthy foods before bed if you're hungry. You can have a light, moderate snack that will be fine. But if you can't have dinner early and you have dinner around eight or nine, then that's fine as well. It's not going to make you gain weight automatically. The fourth myth is that fat makes you fat. I mean, it would seem logical that cutting out fat from your diet would make you lose weight because fat is the most calorie dense macronutrient. However, studies show that low fat diets aren't more effective than other types of diet for weight loss. Studies also show that low fat diets don't have any effects on certain diseases. Your body needs healthy fats to function. They are used for building cell membranes, for hormone production, for absorbing nutrients from foods and certain vitamins. Of course, if you overeat fat, then that fat will be stored as fat. But that fat isn't actually the problem. The problem is overeating. The fifth myth is that all calories are equal. Now, all calories have the same energy content. 
50 calories of broccoli or 50 calories of chocolate contain the same amount of energy. However, they do not have the same effect on your body. Depending on where your calories come from, they are going to be processed through different biochemical pathways and they won't give you the same content. And also high quality calories contain good nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. Eating a 100 calorie banana will be better for you than eating a 100 calorie cookie because you are going to be getting good minerals and vitamins from that banana that you won't be getting from the cookie. And also the banana is full of healthy carbs and fiber and will fill you up for longer so you're not going to go and eat other foods. So in the end, if you eat 100 calories of banana, you're probably going to end up consuming less food than if you eat the 100 calorie cookie. For example, protein is the most filling macronutrient. It has a high satiety index, so if you eat 100 calories of protein, you're going to be more filled up than if you eat 100 calories of carbs. And again, that will make you eat less long-term and possibly lose weight. So different foods have different effects even if they contain the same amount of calories. The sixth myth is that the low-fat, gluten-free, fat, sugar-free, whatever option is healthier. It's commonly believed that low-fat foods are healthy and will aid weight loss. However, these foods are loaded with sugar to compensate from the fat that they were stripped away from. And also they're highly processed with lots of stuff to make up for the taste that was lost by removing the fat. And the same goes for sugar-free foods, which are actually loaded with artificial sweeteners. And one example of that is diet soda, which actually isn't better for your health than regular soda. If you want to know more about that, you can check out the video I made about that right here or in the description. And the same principle also applies to gluten-free food. For some reason, people don't seem to think that calories matter as much when you're getting the gluten-free version. If you suffer from celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, gluten intolerance, wheat allergy or anything like that, of course, please go for the gluten-free option. But for the rest of you, it is pointless at best and actually unhealthy at worst. Gluten-free foods often contain more fat and more sugar than the normal foods. If you want to treat yourself, just get the regular version, don't get the diet version. And of course, when I say gluten-free or fat-free, sugar-free version, I mean the processed gluten-free, fat-free, sugar-free versions. Of course, there are whole foods that naturally don't contain these things and are still very healthy for you, of course. Just wanted to mention that in case, just in case. And the seventh myth is that exercising will compensate for unhealthy eating. A lot of people think that exercising is as important, if not more important, than healthy eating for weight loss. However, your focus should actually be 80% on what you eat and only 20% on exercising. Studies show that exercise just doesn't play as big of a role in weight loss as we thought. Also, it's much easier to overindulge when you tell yourself that you are going to burn off all the excess at the gym. While exercise certainly can contribute to creating a calorie deficit that can lead to weight loss, it really shouldn't be your only option. I do want to say though that exercise has amazing, amazing health benefits and should absolutely be incorporated into your schedule. Just don't have unrealistic expectations when you exercise thinking that you will suddenly lose all your excess weight. And also if you're interested in learning a bit more about exercise and its impact on our nutrition and weight loss, you can check out the article that I wrote about that and I will also be leaving that in the description. So you may have heard of one or all of these weight loss myths and you might even have believed them to be true. In general, just know there aren't any really tricks or hacks to lose weight. The best thing you can do is to choose whole healthy foods, to exercise regularly, to care for your body, to practice mindful eating, and to build a healthy relationship with food that will actually last. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't hesitate to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.